this area. They'll all want to be setting up places like Foundation. That is a cliff wall here mining. I have no idea how you're going to get anything done. I'm going to break a shovel. I'm going to strike it big, baby. It's a cliff wall. Anyway, welcome back to Fallout 76. Pouring down rocks if we keep bashing the side of that cliff, man. Anyway, yeah, welcome back to Fallout 76. So I'm just gonna go straight into the next thing. I wanna do these on streams and uh, have my videos kind of ready. Why not? I know nothing about the, uh, <coughs> the DLC. I've been very careful to keep away from spoilers. Initiate. Glad you made it here safely. That Ares character is further ahead. I should mention, every instinct I have is telling me not to trust him. It seems we don't have much choice for the time being, but we'll be wise to keep an eye on him. As I mentioned before, this isn't my first time dealing with a caravan group like this. More than once, we discovered that slavers had been using the guise of a caravan to collect and transport people. Blue Ridge using a dark corner like this for their operations only raises my suspicions. I cannot overlook the similarities. All right, you take point. <laughs> Guns at the ready. I spotted some feral wolves earlier. That's a cool. Well, this is a different code for a change, why not? Hello there, well, hello there. The spot we're looking for is further in the facility. There's a trick to getting in. Give me one shake of a lamb squatch's tail to get it open. <laughs> Let's see, 30 days past September, carry the tomb. Is this for real? Just a little further ahead. Please, after you. Chances <laughs> Snoop Snow is 44. We are keeping an eye on you. I can't blame you. You're not a real looker. <laughs> I mean, that's a good reply from Mary, I have to admit. Doing something. Okay, the cab's just past this door here. I'll get it open. What's a hold up? You're not gonna like this. Follow me. You've teleported through the wall. Oh, the companions in New Vegas had this issue. I didn't think it would be here, so. <laughs> oh, Strangler. Strangler. Welcome to the ninth circle of hell. First, the good news. It's bring your own paramilitary night, so the paladin drinks for free. <laughs> the bad news is that I can't unseal that door. Here's the quick version. Clever little me locks that door by setting off a bogus gas leak alarm. Oops. But it looks like in order to lift the lockdown, you need to verify there's actually no gas leak. The door is real picky like that. Okay. Oh, I lost. 
love to, but there's a little problem. If you'll cast your steely gaze to the left, you'll see a massive impenetrable wall of strangler vines. To verify there's no gas leak, we need to get to the pump room. <laughs> One guess where the pump room is located. <clears throat> Beyond those strangler vines. Winner, winner, red steak dinner. <laughs> there were some engineers living down here well after the bombs fell. Looks like they lasted a few years even. Which means they had a way of fighting back the vines. Maybe start by looking for how they did that. I don't know. They're all over this region though. Art is hell to cut, and they grow like they hold a grudge. Hmm. I snooped around a bit when I first recommended the route to Joanna. There's some offices that were clearly being used as bumps for a while. Not sure what happened to them. It almost looks like they just dropped dead on the spot. <laughs> That's not a bad omen, is it? Sounds like an effect in terms of... <coughs> In a past life, I used to work with these pencil-pushing sociopaths in suits. Well, not at this facility, but I was in the know about their various nefarious dealings in the region. <laughs> mm hmm I'll just skulk here in the corner in case another way of opening this door comes to mind. Let me know if you have any luck. Try not to die a terrible death. I'll try not to. Very good drive way of getting us killed. Stay sharp, initiate. He's right there. Since there's only a few of us left down here, we've decided to stop changing the password in between. From here on out from here until then it is going to be open sesame seed. One. Yes, so I said Ellen of you to the nearest radio equipment I could be in a sesame seed vehicle again. <laughs> wow. Dark. Open sesame seed, eh? I've always been more of an everything bagel person. Fair enough. In case you guys forgot, we need to use a new decryption system for entering the password. Stop asking why there's no letters on the super machines. Take the password, convert it into numbers. Produce those mechanical engineering degrees for once. Mel. Looks like we'll need more than just a password to get through. Code for turning words into numbers, it seems. So, I guess we'll need to find a way to change open sesame seed into a series of numbers. <laughs> I can already figure it out. Does anybody else remember um, the old phones where you had to push the button multiple times? So, you had one would be ABC, two would be written in the alphabet. So, open sesame seed. Initiate. That was some impressive detective work. Let's have a look at this. Aha! My hunch was right. According to the label, they made an extremely potent herbicide. Judging from this container, it looks like it's meant to be dispersed into a larger system. There are sprinklers in here, so the facility's water. I would explain the bodies out there, but why? <laughs> they must have known this would happen. Time to dwell on that. Initiate, let's look for a station where we can access the water line. Point this is where we need to look in the vines. No one has to lie, so you might as well admit it. <clears throat> I can come up with a formula to combat the strangler vines. I found some industrial strength, herbicide, and storage room. A fancy dispenser, the formula notes. This lab station, all just a facade. At first I added a tiny bit and it worked. Now when I got sick, it seemed fine. You guys thought I was really smart, so boom boom, right? Start of resisting small dose, had to up it. I thought maybe our drinking water frustration system would fix it. People start puking, their guts out, say otherwise. I refuse to drink it, I'd rather let the face take me. So, I guess, it looks like the field was like to be the smartest guy in the room for a bit. For anyone who finds this, I'll leave some hope side behind. Just every bit of it and give those lines my best regards. Mel. Damn. Ah. Oh. Did it almost completely by accident. 
I assumed it was like that, and probably my first guess was why it says that. Here we go. This looks like it connects to the main water line. Let's talk next steps. We should be able to disperse the herbicide into the water line from here. I'm suspecting that the security system here won't appreciate that. Expect alarms. And the company that alarms tend to attract. Ready for a fight? Okay. Fingers crossed and guns at the... Let's take a look here. Okay. The chemical has started dispersing into the water systems. And it's detected a foreign substance. Prepare for it to get noisy in here. Initiate, I'll need you to keep them off my back. At Victoria. The chemical is pumping throughout the entire water system now. The assess pipe that was for disposing of unwanted <laughs> chemicals. Well, one sleazy company's environmental negligence is our gain, I suppose. Those vines should be weak enough to break through now. I, uh, wouldn't drink the water if I were you, though. That's certainly fun to do. Did you hear that? That doesn't sound like a fair old to me. We should launch our packs in here. Bah? What do you mean, bah? I mean, the subtitles kind of give it away a little bit. There better be a fucking sheep's got some pasta in here, whatever the fuck it is. I hate you dealing with them in there, man. Two squirts and postulin, I say. You have no idea, Paladin. You have no idea. And that's that. Time to head back to Ares. He has anything to do with this. This is locked. Oh, 25 XP. It's the bathroom door, it's just locked for some reason. Surprisingly powerful despite not being a pistol build. Just kill him fairly quickly. Your boss looks like she's about to strangle me with one of those vines. Something happened in there? Between the feral ghouls, the strangler vines, and that insane sheep robot, I've about reached my limit with this place. And your antics. Oh no, 
if this is some kind of trap or elaborate cover-up, but we need to get through that door and get answers. Now! Whoa, whoa, trap? Where's this coming from? Hold up. Did you say sheep robot? Uh, like the Baba kind or the killer robot kind? Aries, the door! Now! Please! Jerry, just give me a second. Yeesh. Nearly there now. We're getting closer to the truth. I can feel it. I hope you're right. I'd like to believe he's innocent in all of this, but I can't lose sight of the goal. Finding the missing people, like Cassie, is a time-sensitive, life-or-death situation. That comes first. Fair enough. Right, let's see here. Login credentials, check. In terms of employment, yeah. Benefits enrollments expired, sure, sure. <laughs> and done. Trust me now, I'll even lead the way, so if you change your mind, it'll be easier to shoot me in the back. <laughs> Thank you for opening the door. But know that if we find anything linking you to this, you're still going to have to answer for it. And it's the catalog of questionable things I already have to answer for. <laughs> just using random weapons at this point. Goddamn Vitestorm. For all the trips, it's gonna be my turn when the mother of all green glowing death cloud parks itself over the mire. Runs into the camp out until it passes. I'm already exhausted from babysitting this massive group for the past two weeks. Shit, Joe's gonna be thrilled about the transport fleas, but she's not the only one who's gonna deal with delinquents, the merchant, and that weirdo duck snake who's joining us. These numbers go missing. I assume I can get them all to stay close with the camp, that is. <laughs> Cassie's Journal. Day one, setting out. Start the new journey, foundation. Lay out the red carpet for Cassie, because I'm about to turn up a lot of agriculture on its head. I decided to keep this little journey to chronicle the amazing things to see along the way. Wish me luck. Day 5. Mr. Wolf. <laughs> well, that's going well so far, isn't it? Walking. That's all we do. We walk, bend down, build and check. Forest is more than dead trees. Check. Oh, look. An empty that red rocket gas station. Well, that's a thrilling excursion this end of the year. Oh, and to top of all off, there's this creepy ball guy in that group. We keep catching him staring at me. I used to self talk to pervert. <laughs> Ten days later, day 15. So close, but so far. We're finally within spitting distance of Appalachia, but our ransom is raging outside. We've been walking through this old train tunnel all day, and now we can't even step aside until the storm blows over. Let's find a nice spot to get cozy and nap off while it's walking. Day 15, night. Okay, this is so weird. These guys showed up all of a sudden, aren't their teeth. They've been sitting around chatting with that weird old doctor. Everyone seems a little nervous, even the guard. Wait, they took his gun away. Even the guard, wait. He took his gun away. What the hell is going on? Oh shit, they saw me. They saw me. If someone finds this, help us. Huh. Arm to the teeth. Caravan manifest. Departure confirmed. Can turn a guard Aries. Group details. F. Ferdinand's cannery owner. Effort Nance Merchant, Provisions, Minerva, Merchant, Plans, Recipes, Tommy Tentos, okay. Guard of Duty, Lives, Farmer, Tea Leaves, Clerk, Merchant, Fireworks, Arrival Confirmed by Vinny, Departure Confirmed, Guard Kieran, Group Details, all these details, Confirmed by Joanna, Kieran was the guard. Um, in the departure, Libby is the guard this time. Blackburn, a doctor again. Because, uh, no. Confirmed by Vinny. Gaetano, Blackburn, doctor again for the third time. Farmer, all sorts. Hmm. 
Arrival is not even confirmed. So it looks like that final caravan is what these guys kidnapped. Because you're to see a mentioning Kira and Ares and Libby are all part of the riding shotgun car uh, riding shotgun event. Seems like you've been pretty thorough. Excellent. I'll take what you've collected. Let me take a look at what you found. I just need a minute to review it all. Pull out your decoder rings, kids. It's detective time. <laughs> That's a reference to Fallout 4, the coder rings, that is a reference. I know this name. Good. I think I've seen enough. Initiate, we should discuss our findings. Well, it seems like Cassie was indeed a part of this caravan group, but I think it'd be a good idea to step through the evidence together. I may have been assuming too much about Blue Ridge's involvement. I'd like to be on the same page. So we're... Yes. No, it seemed this was a routine trip. Till the end. Something kept them here. And forced them to set up camp so close to home. Why well, don't force them to save an area they were vulnerable? That's right. The storm forced them to bunk down. They were an extra large group too. With only one guard. Sitting ducks. I mean, I've we've been breathing in the rats to them, so I don't know why they couldn't. Indeed. It looks like we have a clear account of your last moments here. That was my take as well. Based on Cassie's description and the letter you found earlier, we can assume they were these Hellcat mercenaries. Makes sense. The total number of people they've abducted, though, is staggering. Nearly 15 in this trip alone. Right. The manifest. One name in particular really stood out to me. Did you notice it? The doctor. That's right. Dr. Blackburn. Not only was he present on multiple trips, but Cassie makes mention of him speaking with the armed strangers. Likely yes, these Hellcat does. mercenaries you've dealt with. I imagine Dr. Blackburn was the one employing them. I knew the name sounded familiar. I had read it in Shin's report of your very first assignment with us. Think back, Initiate. Do you recall why Dr. Blackburn had been seeking our assistance? Oh, wow, you... Okay, Bethesda. <laughs> I remember something to do with a farm, but that, that was a while ago now. Oh, is it... It looks like it'd be part of your part of the story we've had to keep an eye out. I think it was something to do with this uh, with experiments. That's right. Dr. Yes. Blackburn was seeking assistance with his experiments. Something about curing diseases and helping people. Something like that, yeah. I suspected it was too good to be true. And the evidence here certainly doesn't look promising. But could he really be kidnapping people? Indeed we do. Dr. Blackburn was hiring these Hellcat mercenaries to kidnap people from this route. It would appear they were cautious at first, but took advantage of a rad storm to steal away an entire group. An unfortunate end, but there's still hope of finding them. The only thing left is to report back our findings and determine Blackburn's location. You were an excellent partner in this initiate. This has been a humbling experience. I do believe we make a pretty great team. Maybe. Oh uh, yeah, to be fair, I think we were being a bit unfair to be originaries. I can't blame you. My sights are entirely focused on everyone that's gone missing, but I can't just plow through everything to reach that goal. This experience has helped me see that. Yeah. You it's kinda do need to take a step back sometimes. Not just as leader of the Brotherhood, but as a person. And hopefully, to begin earning back your trust. I mean, I trust you anyway, but you just need to take We should get back to back. Atlas and report what we found. If we can determine where Blackburn took this group, we may be able to track down Cassie. 
and perhaps countless others. I'll meet you there. Good work, Initiate. Fair enough. Aries, I owe you an apology. My rash behavior was unfitting of my position, and frankly, unfair to you. Eh, water under the bridge. All of my best friendships start with misplaced suspicion of mass kidnapping. I will take your word for it. I am sorry either way. If you really want to make it up to me, huh. I've heard you guys have some killer rocket launchers to spare. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, this is a bit expensive, definitely. I'm just going to buy my shit again. I don't fit heating coil. Go to the city, mercenary outfit, and receive this stuff. Damn. Interesting. Brotherhood series. This shit that uh, Romani is wearing. Alright, it's about to Atlas. I'm not really sure what was going on around neck here, that was weird. Between what we've learned at AMS and the journal we recovered from Harper's Ferry, this is big. If this is the source of a super mutant threat, I'm prepared to support any action to end it. Initiate. Good timing. I can't believe he just walked in here. He must have been at work even then. I never said it was my fault, Initiate. To think. The arrogance he must have had. Enough of that. The question facing us now is how to find him and the people who've been taken. Lucky for us, Scribe Valdez has made a discovery of her own while we were away. That's right. Remember the Pip-Boy you found in the Uncanny Caverns? It took a while to crack the encryption, but I've unlocked it. It came from Vault 96. Ooh. It took a bit of research to locate it, but it's well south of here. I'll mark it on your map. Well, we're not sure it is. What we do know is that we have a definitive lead to follow. The super mutant threat takes priority. If we find the missing civilians in the process, so much the better. But we cannot ignore this lead either way. Unsurprisingly, Night Shin and I don't see eye to eye on this. Fortunately, in this case, we don't have to. I think they're connected. A vault would be a great place to hide abductees. The Pip Boy might even have come from someone that escaped. Investigating the vault is our best lead for either mystery, and maybe an answer to both. Then we're agreed. The vault will be your next target. Scribe Valdez will accompany you. A vault is a potential trove of exactly the kind of technology the Brotherhood is meant to catalog and secure. I've marked Vault 96 on your map. We don't know what we're walking into, or even how we'll get in, to be honest. We'll need to be cautious. I thought my mic was muted for some reason. Oh shit. <clears throat> nope, mic's fine. We've made a good team in the past. We can handle it. Don't worry. Scribe Valdez is a full member of the Brotherhood Initiate. And you've repeatedly proven yourself capable. Step one is finding a way in. Nicolder. You'll take point. Based on other vaults we found crossing the country, the vault should have an emergency transponder. Once you've secured the entrance, the controls for the transponder are usually there near the main door. Activate it to give the all clear and I'll follow you in. Brotherhood needs you to do this. We need you to do it. It's a good plan, and I think we're all in agreement on this one. Find any change. evidence you can about the missing people and any connection to the super mutants. If Blackburn is there, I want him taken alive. No if he really is behind the abductions, he needs to answer for his crimes. You have your orders, Initiate. Good luck. Dismissed. Uh, fair enough. We are really fixing this place up, don't you think? Yes, first of all, this anyway. Uh, what the fuck is all ninety six? Okay, I discovered it at some point. That's good. God.
little late to the party, aren't you? If you're looking to loot the place, some blood eagles are ahead of you in line. I'd stop you, but... Uh, I think I quit. Our squad was guarding the entrance here when we were overrun by blood eagles. Killed everyone. <laughs> uh, me too. I just haven't kicked it yet. Name's Woods. Corporal Woods, Hellcat Company. Mercenaries. We got hired by this creep of a doctor to guard the place. That's what we like. Among other things. Promised us salvage rights here when he was done. And I don't think we're gonna collect on that. Yeah. Raider types, but more bloodthirsty. You know, you can usually deal with the crater sort. Blood eagles, though, <laughs> they enjoy the killing. Hell of a bedside manner you've got. You know I'm dying, right? <sighs> Go ahead. Not like I'm doing anything else. Clock's ticking, though. Seriously? I'm bleeding out in front of you, and you want my life story. <laughs> well, hell. I'd rather die with somebody than alone. Whatever. Best of a bad situation, all right? The Hellcats had limits. A code. Better than joining up with raiders. Yeah. We did good jobs, as often as bad. This nice for you. Until this time, at least. <laughs> our own fault. We got lazy. This place is so far out of the way, nobody ever passes by. Kind of the point. We figured we'd be shooing off the occasional stray scavenger that came poking around. I mean, even off. players don't even come here apart from the Alps, that's about it. sent grenades through the entrance before we knew they were there. Rushed us while we were recovering. I took a bullet in the gut. Bastards left me to die slowly, because they thought it was funny. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, Blackburn. Real unnerving guy, even before we found out what he was doing. Kidnapping was just the start of it. We should have cut ties then, contract or no. Even mercs should have lines they don't cross. I'd say I didn't have a choice, but... We're mercenaries. We do it for the money, not some noble ideal. Nobody to blame but ourselves. Jesus, interrogating a dying woman. That's stone cold. Ah, oh, don't look like that. I'm just fucking with you. This is important. Maybe you can fix our mistakes. It's where he had us bringing them. Other squads did, I mean. I was just guard duty. Not that it makes me any less guilty. Whether or not any of them are left alive? No clue. Wouldn't count on it with the Blood Eagles ransacking the place. Especially they haven't come back yet. Can't figure the dock will last long either. Yeah, that doesn't bother me. Need the dock alive first so and to hurry up then. That's kind, but it's a little late for that. I've seen enough gut shots in my time to know a stim pack and bandages aren't gonna fix this. This one's got my name on it. God knows I've done enough to deserve it. Oh please, I've been swiped up by a fucking... Oh, okay, just die right after. Get that. <laughs> We swiped up by all sorts of things and a gut shot is what kills them, really.
So she's just here. Wow, it's freezing in here. Look at all this ice. The environmental controls must be damaged. What happened here? Those are Hellcat Company uniforms, right? Looks like a massacre. Wasn't me. Don't blame me. That ain't on me. Blood Eagles. What are they doing here? Looks like Paladin Romani was right. There's a link between the abductions, Blackburn, and the super mutants. We still need to figure out what. Give me a moment to look at these terminals. Ooh, that's not good. The vault's on internal lockdown. I guess someone's responding to the Blood Eagle attack. If there are automated defenses still working, they'll all be active. We may be facing more than just blood eagles. Be careful. Let's get moving. I'll follow your... Yeah, yeah, that sound like. Oh, you're the one I talked to back in Fort Atlas. You know her? Listen, we're in a bad way here. Cut off from the rest of our people and the damn robots keep coming in waves. We need help. Nothing. Same as stopping you from shooting us if we let you in. True. We don't need more trouble. We just want to get out of here. Help us hold off the bots and we'll leave peacefully. For you, anyway. No promises if someone else tries to stop us. Valdez. You got someone else out there? <laughs> Should I be jealous? I don't think we've got much choice. We're going to need that key card to bypass the rest of the security doors. I told you I just found it, dummy. I was about to try it out right when I heard you walk up. I got injured in here. Okay, maybe I'm no sweet little orphan, but... I actually like some of these idiots. I, I don't want to just leave them for dead. <laughs> come on, come on, I can hear more coming. We got a deal? Nah. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> we kind of forced him to read it, right? Good thing Shin is not here. I don't think he'd agree to this. <laughs> no shoot, boys. They're on our side. Saved your ass. Damn. Good thing you showed up when you did. Pretty sure you had it by yourself. Like I was right about you. Shame we keep meeting under these circumstances. We could get into some real trouble. People leave the Brotherhood bailed us out. Well, the deal's a deal. Key card's yours. Everyone else is Coast clear, we should be able to get out of here. I don't say this a lot, but thanks. Nice job. I can't believe we just got thanked by a blood eagle. <laughs> As always with you. Huh? Yeah, well, turns out you don't know me all that well. I've been running this gang for ages. I like the excitement. Don't act like you've got no blood on your hands. 
You ain't better than me. This is just for the right reason, Zef. Yeah, I figured. Them's the breaks. I'm sure they tried to kill you too. You won. It happens. What? Too heartless? You don't lead a gang with feelings, man. <sighs> I'll be honest. The only ones I actually liked are in here with me anyway. Duh, we're looting the joint. One of our people trailed those Hellcat idiots back here. A vault's gotta be full of good stuff. Guns, bombs, food, and... Okay, this one turned out to be some kind of nightmare freak show, but <laughs> can't blame us for trying. Maybe it's easier. Probably. Uh, not my problem. Hey, don't look at me like that. We'd be dead if you hadn't shown up. If they're not, they soon will be. I try to get these guys here to mount a rescue. They'll ask me themselves. <laughs> ask. Get it. No, let's go that. Fuck you for that joke. <laughs> Can't get enough of me, can you? All yours. You got this far, so I'm guessing the way you came is clear. Thanks again. No promises. So they will shoot me and let it up, but no promises. Interesting friends initiate. That's what you question? You don't question about the fact that if we go vault dwellers, we have to launch some nukes? Or the fact that you haven't asked the Vault Dwellers themselves to stop launching nukes. Because that's what you. Okay, whatever about this, whatever. Dick. Anyway. You are not with those others, are you? Can you get us out of here? Uh, not exactly. I think the locks are controlled remotely. The doctor guy always does something back behind the stairs there. Before he comes back to grab one of us for his tests. I feel sick. Oh, we're locked in some weird cell, in a frozen vault, being held prisoner by some lunatic in a lab coat who experiments on us. We're peachy. How are you? <laughs> Jesus, okay. Fair answer. Okay. I was gonna go for a walk, but I guess I'll stay here for now. Sorry. Seriously, though. Thank you. <laughs> Though, you can understand why she'd be at it. We literally asked her to stay still. I was like, yeah, as if she's gonna fucking go anywhere. Oh, okay. All test chambers. Somebody get us out of here. Ah, shit, it's two, right? Ah, okay, cool. Oh, thank God. You've got my thanks, stranger. Introductions are in order, I guess. My name's Cassie. Did I say that already? Now that sounds like a fun bunch. Uncle Art mentioned them in uh, broad terms. Can't say I'm not glad to meet you, though. I'm not injured. Got lucky. The doc didn't do any surgery on me. That nut job was dosing me with diseases, though. Said he was testing incubation and immune response times. <sighs> Weird thing is, he kept apologizing. Bad case of sludge now. <clears throat> but I'm. <clears throat> I'm holding up. <clears throat> Some of the others are in worse shape. Is he coming back? Huh. For real? You must be it's a good thing I found her earlier, didn't I? Well, well, I did get kidnapped and locked up by a mad scientist, so maybe not. But still, thank you. You get to miss him breathing normally. Please. Yeah. Help us. Maybe I could, but <laughs> there's no way the rest will. I don't even know where we are, but <coughs> I'm guessing we're not close to civilization. These folks won't make it a mile in their condition. It's better if they stay here. When we've cleared the vault, I'll radio Fort Atlas. 
They can send the medics with the recovery team and get them to safety. Whatever Fort Atlas is, that sounds good to me. Thanks, Kylie. I'll leave some food and water for you to share until help arrives. You're a peach. I think we're the last surviving ones. Oh, there used to be more. When he takes you out of the cells, you don't always come back. Hasn't been down here in a few days, though. Figured he got what he wanted, or someone done him in. Good timing on your part. The crappy rations he gave us last time are nearly gone. Fair enough. My social calendar is wide open, as it happens. Yeah, that's me. You know Uncle Art? He's gotta be so worried. He might even express an emotion besides world weary. <sighs> I hope he's alright. Well, that's up. Came in on a Blue Ridge caravan. Doc was there too. Had some people slip away in the night, but Guide said it happens. People turn back, that kind of thing. And one night we shelter from a storm and those Hellcat goons ambush us, capture us all. Spent days in a cart or something, blindfolded, before they dumped me here. Well, I'm a captive audience. <laughs> Too soon? Eh, what do you want to know? We ain't going anywhere. Hey, if you run into that crazy doctor, give him a kick for me. Well, maybe we can do it for you. Bring him down here, you can all kick him. It, is it over? You're here to rescue Can we go home? Give Blackburn a kick. Eh, let's try. The card doesn't work? Blackburn must have overridden the door codes. Probably guess the looters might find a key card eventually if they had the run of the place. If he's changed the codes for the door, we're not getting through normally. I knew a lot of knights that would probably try to blow up the door. <laughs> but I think we can do better than that. That's the last resort, I think. These doors are hydraulically sealed. If we can find the lines that feed to this door, we might be able to cut the pressure holding it shut. Look for a utility room nearby. Let's blow it up. Uh, I'll do that, just blow it up. I've got the explosives. If you need to do, we can launch one, it's fine. Teach you well forced to put a crimp in your drawer. Smash the controls and hope. Nice work. You know what's over the controller is before you. It takes a moment but you spot the correct toggle to disable the line screen to the other door. With a few flip switches to press indicators and the power drop to zero. Nice. <laughs> Smash the <laughs> Smash the controls and hope. Wow. Alright, this is his head. Neither the vault defenses nor the blood eagles were a match for you. Quite formidable. You can lower your weapons. It would clearly be futile for me to struggle. But <laughs> I surrender willingly. Contrary to what you may think, I did not lie to you when we spoke at Fort Atlas. I did say it would be difficult for a layperson to understand. FEV was never intended to be a source of abominations and grotesqueries. It was to be the next step in human evolution. Our refinement into something greater and better. Certainly the fools at West Tech were more obsessed with observing its failures than correcting them. But its true purpose was for good. And now it will fulfill that purpose. Because of me. 
I'm too hungry to stand in line if he wasn't Listening front of me. to this is making me understand Shin's point of view. <laughs> this is true. I wish it could have been avoided. It was easier and safer for myself, if not for others, to release those failures before the metamorphosis was complete. I had work to finish, and I knew the Brotherhood was out there to deal with the error. Your <laughs> errors tunneled into Fort Atlas and could have killed everyone! Is that so? It seems my failures were indeed steps on the road to success. That level of coordination suggests an increase in cognitive development over the typical example. Still, I bear the Brotherhood no ill will. My apologies for that. Do you believe I did this all blindly? Groping madly in the bodies of the innocent for some unknown and hallucinatory secret? With each iteration, each test conducted, I identified flaws in the virus and calculated their removal. I have no doubt in my work. It sounds like you haven't actually tested your perfect virus. There are... steps being taken as we speak. Any miscalculations that might exist are minor. It will be addressed shortly. <laughs> what you call insanity is merely the regrettable necessity of my work. That it condemns me in your eyes or consigns me to whatever hell may exist is a price I pay willingly. I have ensured the future of humanity, not just in Appalachia, but the world. No cost is too high for this. Were it possible to achieve it without the suffering of innocence, I would have done so. After seeing what you've done here, I hope hell does exist. Despise me if you will. I took no pleasure in what had to be done. I am sure your brotherhood will happily interrogate me until I have no tale left to tell. I will be entirely forthcoming, though I expect you will want to conduct your inquisition within confines more amenable to the brotherhood. As for the contents of this vault, the Brotherhood is free to collect anything they like. My work here is finished. I don't like the sound of that. I don't either. I have no doubt that you... Yes, I assumed as much when you entered. Very well. Consider me arrested, if you must. I am ready to face any judgment the Brotherhood wishes to mete out. My work here is complete regardless, and it is too late for you to stop it. Simply that I have achieved my goal. The FEV is perfected, and it is too late for you to change that. My sacrifices, the terrible things I have done to accomplish this, it has been paid in full, and now salvation awaits humanity. What? You can't do anything with it now. We've caught you. You're finished. Have I given you any reason to believe I have not already taken the necessary action? Okay, that's not good. Huh. <laughs> I have completed it. I turned a flawed miscreation into something that will heal an ill and wounded humanity. But if by that you mean... What have I done with the result? It is no longer here. I have... associates. They are even now finalizing the mechanisms of its distribution. You are too late. Paladin Romani needs to hear about this immediately. Let me go. Had I committed any offense of which you could possibly have been aware? Do you think I'd take any pleasure or pride in that fact? Think what you will, but I am not inhuman. Had I been capable of accomplishing my goal without them, I would have done so. I am neither a sadist nor a homicidal maniac. I do not expect forgiveness, but I am certain what I have done 
will bear sufficient consequence without fabricating new sins to hang upon me. Hmm. Ah, yes. The interrogation before my interrogations continues. And yet you will not, will you? The Brotherhood is an iron fist when enforcing its mission. But you did not come all this way simply to put a bullet in my skull. Besides, my death can no longer stop my work. Yes. Consider me a... My work here is... I am at your disposal, then. You can head out. I'll radio for a team to secure the site and get the prisoners to safety. Then bring Blackburn back to the fort. I'm sure the others are going to have a lot of questions for him. Good work, Initiate. I'm glad you were here. Fair enough. Blackburn's bungalow. <laughs> Fucking plan. There's a crafting item. I see, I see. Can I kill you? I'll kill you. Give me what you will. It will change nothing. Good work in here, Initiate. I, I really want to see if I can shoot him, though. <laughs> I really want to just in case. Okay, I thought that was a good one. And uh, like this video, if you like this type of video, subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment.